Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul for you guys. I did a little, mm, yeah, I did a little shopping, um, maybe a lot to some people. Um, there's just a couple things that I picked up that I've been wanting to try. Um, so if you want to see what I purchased, stay tuned. Okay, so jumping right into the video, and I do apologize if you hear a noise, it might be the wind. I have the windows open, it's really breezy outside, and it feels really good, so I thought I'd keep the windows open and keep me cool. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys, because it's right in front of me, is this, no I'm not, because I'm going to show that last, play it myself. The first thing I'm actually going to show you guys is the Dominique's Cosmetics Latte 2 Palette. It looks like this and here is the palette itself um this palette released when did this palette come out it came out not too long ago but i know some people got in like their trend mood box or their boxy charm box or some shit like that that i don't subscribe to so i didn't get it i had to wait for it to actually come out um but i'm glad i did i actually really like this palette i'm wearing it on my eyes today it's a very neutral palette but it has really nice pops of color like this one the blonde rose and which i think this is yep matcha and the other one is called strawberry milk they're really nice i like the color payoffs they're really easy to blend it's a good everyday palette with like some good pops of color like the shimmers in here are really nice as well this retail for 42 dollars and I did pick it up off the Dominique Cosmetics website. I was gonna order it off Sephora's website, but it was already sold out. And I don't think they carry this brand in store. I think it's only online. Um, I live in Nebraska, so half of the good shit is never in store anyway, so I'm always ordering stuff. So that's that. Next, I picked up some <laughs> ColourPop. I have all this stuff bubble wrap still. Um, I picked up their new, what are these? The Lux Velvet lip swatches. Um, I picked up six of those. I've always enjoyed ColourPop's lip products. I'm not a fan of the Super Shock, Super Shock shadows. I'm not a fan of those. I do have some of their single shadows. Really enjoy those. Um, but I've always enjoyed their lip products. So I picked up some of their new Lux Velvet lips. And I also picked up some Juicy Tubes. Um, and I got this. This one is in the shade Beechwood. And I have this one is called She's Here. I want to say the Juicy Tubes retail for six dollars and the luxe velvet um lip colors retail for eight dollars ColourPop is having a sale right now on their website where all lip products are 30 percent off so i would get over there now if you're looking for some new lip products yeah um, okay back to what i got though this one is called i think it's called auntie's auntie's it's like a watermelony like red color and then this one is called roundabout mm -hmm. um it's supposed to have like a plumping effect i don't know about all that um to me it just gives me like a really high gloss which i thoroughly enjoy so no complaints here on that um it is it does have that like minty smell i uh, what's the main ingredient in here Oh, it's probably on the box. It's not on the tube, and I threw all the boxes away. So, yeah, can't really tell you what what the main ingredient is, but it's really gotta readjust myself. It's really mint, like mentholated, if that's a word. That's how I how I would describe it. Okay, so I'm going. I just put some swatches on the back of my hand for you guys. So up top that one is roundabout the second one is she's here the third one is beechwood and then the last one is um aunties i think thinking like auntie like aunties 
that's what I get from that so I got those and then um, I picked up six of the Lux lip Lux velvet is what it's called um, pfft, these names I picked up Big Bang and I did do a swatch video of these for you guys so you can see how they look on my lips with no lip liner no nothing I do enjoy the formula it's very soft it's like a soft matte like a blurring lip color which I really enjoy so this one is Big Bang it's a nice little red <clears throat> the next one is Dose oh Daily Dose and this is the one that I was probably most excited about because it's a uh, like a orangey red and I love a orangey red during the summertime so right underneath Big Bang is Daily Dose like I love a orangey red you can't tell me nothing because that type of color just stands on its own so you don't even need to work hard for that just do your face put some lashes on put that on call it good anyway uh, the next color is Air Kiss Air Kiss is like a really pretty pink yes Air Kiss right underneath Big Bang looks like that and then the next one is I'm glad I only got six of these because I would not be swatching all of these if I have more than that this video will be way too long um the next one is room service and room service is right there right next to Big Bang and it's it's a nice it's a very like peachy orange nude um, and it wears really nice on the lips the next one is lucky cat I feel like to lucky cat I feel like I have a lipstick that looks like lucky cat so that is lucky cat right there and then the last one is get money <laughs> I was going to sing the song, but I'm not going to get money. If anybody's a little Kim fan, Biggie fan, you know what song I'm singing. Junior Mafia. So that is get money right there. And I feel like I have a lip color, a lipstick that looks like get money too. I think I do. It just reminds me of a lipstick that I have and I don't I can't like really pinpoint what lipstick it is but it definitely reminds me of a lipstick that I already own so the last company oh I also bought some liners from Colourpop might as well show you guys these I didn't even think about that I just bought two for like watering my water watering i just bought two for lining my water line and i bought the color um honey dude and exit so it's just like a nude and then the white so that's those and then i had to go um i didn't have to but i did i went on the p louise site because you know what I really don't know why I went on the P. Louise site but I ended up on the P. Louise site and the first thing I picked up was this um, acid rain the acid rain collection by P. Louise and um, Mitchell Mitchell um, and this is the blank canvas and it looks like that it almost looks like a painters tube which I think that was the point of the collection if I'm not mistaken when I looked at like the full collection it came with like a paddle and like a brush so I'm assuming that's where they were going with it uh, I am using this right now as an eyeshadow base for my eyes and I actually like this better than the actual P. Louise base it is smoother to me I'll show you the inside of it um, the inside 
is much wider so you really don't have to squeeze any product out you can kind of go in with your brush and just kind of dip in a little goes a long way i'll definitely say that i probably put on too much um just not knowing how like pigmented and how much the product would move <clears throat> like i probably put on just a little too much but i worked with it but i do enjoy this and i was gonna tell you how much i pay for it but okay well i can't tell you how much it retails for because even my invoice that they emailed me is in um pounds and not in us dollars so but i want to say it was around maybe 18 dollars, maybe somewhere around there um but it's a pretty good i'm trying to sit up as much as possible i just want to slouch so bad it's actually a really good product i really like i just really enjoy this one a lot um from using it the one time i'm using it again and see how i like it but from the first impressions of it i really enjoyed it it really like it went on smooth you don't need a lot i like how wide the open it is like a paint tube um so you don't have to take too much out of it okay the next thing i picked up from p louise is nothing new to anybody on the internet but it is new to me and this is the secret centers palette i'm going to just let the camera focus in on it um I will say that her one shipping was really fast which surprised me shipping was really fast only took like two days for everything to get here um, but this packaging is bulky like I didn't realize how bulky it was and I should have known from everybody like saying like, you know, oh my God, like I thought that was like the case or like the actual palettes inside, but it's not. It really is like this is some sturdy. Look how it look like look. Look. Yeah. Um, but I do like the feathers on the end. Oh, my ring light's catching it. I do like the feathers on the inside. That's really pretty. Um, and I do like the shadows. I like that. <clears throat> I can even get this thing off and I'm sh like you guys have seen this already but I'll just show you again for those who haven't this is what the inside looks like um, they're all matte and I can't wait to use this palette when this palette first came out I was gonna buy it and I was like eh, I really don't need it and I was like eh, I kind of want it and it was like everybody had it and I was like and eh, like I don't really want it anymore um, but I, when I was on the site again, because I believe her very first palette she dropped was limited edition. So after a while, you couldn't get it anymore. So that was really sad because I kind of really wanted that palette too, but I just kind of missed out. But um, after looking at it again, I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy it. And I'm glad I did. This has some really beautiful shades in it. I really like that it's all matte. I don't mind using an all matte eyeshadow palette but damn if this thing is not like a jewelry box damn um i do plan on doing a makeup look with this obviously anyway moving on moving on so the last thing i also picked up from p louise and the packaging y'all the packaging the packaging like I don't even know if I'm be able to get this in frame it's huge um let me see if I can try so this is the new P Louise eyeshadow palette and it's called love tapes and it's just so the packaging itself is like um it's like a like a love letter but yeah it's like a love letter it's really cute though like super cute the she you know what though they pack these things sturdy af and it says cautious carrying a fragile heart on the side of the box um so let me just take it out of its bubble wrapping sweet baby jesus so this is 
the initial packaging. Mm -hmm. I want my ring light to beam, you guys. And then this is the back of the box. So I'm just gonna take the actual <laughs> eyeshadow palette out of the box if I can. This is making me like work up an appetite. I do appreciate how well they package their items. I know they're sending things all over the world, so better safe than sorry. Okay, 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 okay. So yeah, it's called P. Louise Love Tapes. Love Tapes and in the shadows I found beauty within. So this is what the box looks like again. It does have two highlighters on the side. Y'all, I can't with this packaging. I don't know what possessed me to buy this. It's so pretty. Here's the thing. I'm pretty sure, it's not even I'm pretty sure. This is like their Valentine's Day release. She released it, um, it released February 10th. You were able to purchase it. So two day shipping, it literally got here. I'm filming this on Valentine's Day. So <clears throat> even if I wanted to do a Valentine's Day makeup look with this, it's too late. But that's okay though, because I already did a Valentine's Day look. But the shades in here are what I'm gushing over. The shades in here are just beautiful. Look, you, I can't even, I don't even know how to show you guys the shades. Reds, there's maroons, there's hot pinks, there's lavenders. There's only two shimmer shades in here though. Um, and then there's two highlighters. One highlighter is called Happily, ooh, whoa. So this gold one, I don't know if I swatched enough. Let me swatch a little bit more. This gold one, mm -hmm. If my camera catches that, it's called Happily Ever After. And then this silver one is called Once Upon a Time. And that is silver, for show. This is some solid ass packaging. Like, I don't know where I'm gonna put these. I really don't. Like, I don't know where I'm gonna put these. I am excited to use this palette. I am going to use ooh, the names of these eyeshadows are nasty like she has one in here called screw caress orgasm mm, satisfy urge yeah okay okay <laughs> um i am definitely going to still use this palette um if I do use this palette, this will definitely be one that I'll have to like insert a picture like up top here or down here somewhere or just give the name of the eyeshadow that I'm using because this thing is too big to keep lifting up every time. <sighs> this is probably the bulkiest makeup I've ever purchased, but it's beautiful and I've heard great things about her eyeshadows. So I just thought I'd give them a try. So yeah, that is all I have for this haul. I did pick up the Jaclyn Hills Volume 2 palette. I did. I did. So I'm waiting on that. And then I also um, placed the order with Sephora. So I got a couple things coming in the mail with that. So this is only part one of all the money I've spent without my husband knowing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for looks with both the Love Tapes palette and the Secret Centers palette. I don't care if you've already seen looks with the Secret Center palette. You haven't seen mine. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great night, great day, great evening, great weekend, whatever. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Chair sliding. Chairs sliding. Hey, oh shit.